So, City Skylines 2 just received a very important update. Most importantly, it adds support for DLSS and it claims to have made optimizations to reduce frame spikes. Let's begin by taking a look at DLSS first. Previously, the best anti-aliasing option available was SMAA and there were no upscalers. SMAA just wasn't up to the task of eliminating jaggies. Everything looked shimmery and it was annoying to look at. Now there is a new upscaler section in the graphics tab and only DLSS is available so far. Interestingly, the naming is slightly different here, with DLSS quality called maximum quality. With it enabled, the image quality is improved tenfold. Now it's not painful to look at the game anymore. This is a huge improvement. From now on, I will be using DLSS quality in my future update performance comparison videos. Now let's take a look at the performance of the previous patch and the new patch, both with SMAA and DLSS. Looks like the new patch has slightly less frame spikes as the patch note set. And when the camera turns this corner, it's even more visible. It definitely made a small improvement, even while playing. The new patch just feels smoother. The average FPS improved by around 5 to 10%, and the 1% lows are definitely higher now, but they are still quite low. I consider anything below 30 FPS to be unplayable, and even with DLSS, which further improved frame rates by around 21%, they are still not hitting the 30 FPS mark. Keep in mind that I am using the lowest settings here. The devs still have a long way to go in optimizing this game. As big as this update was, it's only a tiny step and I still wouldn't recommend anyone to play the game just yet. Maybe in a few more patches. We will see there.